Uh, remote ID, it seems like we get nothing but more questions. Well, how about some solutions? We know most of you have heard a lot about remote ID as it relates to drone operations. But for anyone who still has questions, we wanted to present our most up-to-date information on the subject. Put simply, Remote ID is the ability to broadcast information like location, trajectory, speed, and more of a drone in flight. This is seen as a necessity by the FAA to identify aircraft and operators that are operating in an illegal or unsafe manner. Additionally, Remote ID is supposed to open the possibility for more complex drone operations in the future. Think package delivery, for example. As of late 2022, manufacturers are required to build Remote ID hardware into their aircraft to comply with Remote ID. This is known as Standard Remote ID. But what do you do if you have an aircraft that was manufactured before this new regulation? To be compliant, you'll need to attach a Remote ID broadcast module like this one I have here made by DroneTag. This particular model is the drone tag Beacon, which transmits the remote ID information via Bluetooth and was one of the first pieces of hardware to be recognized by the FAA for remote ID compliance. It's extremely light, very small, and has an IP rating of 43, also a battery that lasts for up to 16 hours depending on the configuration. Drone tag also makes the drone tag Mini. It has a little bit larger footprint than the Beacon, but it's still minimal. The primary difference between these two models is that the beacon is integrated with a SIM card, which allows for broadcasting remote ID over wireless networks. While not required, this should open the door to advanced operations like beyond line of sight operations, among others. After obtaining one of these modules, attach it in an area that doesn't obstruct any sensors or attachments to the aircraft. Also, make sure that you register the broadcast module at the FAA's Drone Zone website along with your aircraft. When you're ready to fly, turn on the module, and after selecting some basic settings in the free drone tag application, you're ready to get in the air. And that's pretty much it. During flight, the module will broadcast all the required information to be compliant with Remote ID. Now we all know Remote ID has been a long time coming, and now the rubber is starting to meet the road. Compliance for manufacturers was last year, but you have until September 16th, 2023 to either operate a drone with Remote ID built in or get your hands on a drone tag to keep your aircraft up in the air. Links for information about the drone tag are provided in the description below. And of course, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the latest on the FAA and drone news.